Thanks for tuning in. This is Sweet Cyclist. Today we're going to be reviewing the Elite Prism Carbon Fiber Bottle Cage. So here we have the Elite Prism Carbon Fiber Bottle Cage. This is one of Elite's newest and most premium side entry bottle cages. Side entry cages are especially useful for smaller frame bikes or mountain bikes where you don't have the space to fit a full size bottle. It allows you to remove the bottle sideways instead of vertically, although you can also use this vertically. I want to thank Elite for providing this to be reviewed. This is the right entry version. If we go overall and look at the packaging here, very minimal. It's a simple cardboard backing with little plastic hooks in here. I'll go ahead and pop that off and we can review the specifications. This is a $55 bottle cage, which is quite a lot. They also have a $25 fiberglass version that looks very similar. This is the right version. They also have a left entry version. They also have a few different color variations. However, the colors are limited to the basic graphics on top. This is a polymer matrix composition with a carbon fiber reinforcement. You don't get the fancy aesthetic carbon fiber layer on top though. It's more of a matte finish. And the finish wise, like the feel, it's kind of difficult to describe. It's kind of a mix between a rubbery plastic and it's a very lightweight, which is not surprising from Elite, which really specializes in lightweight accessories. So now the moment of truth. Let's look at the weight of the bottle cage. This is one of the big selling points with a lot of Elite's accessories. And this comes in at only 28 grams. This is a claimed weight of 30 grams, so even lighter than the claimed weight, which is great. So let's take a closer look at the Elite Prism bottle cage. In terms of fit and finish, this is really well done. You can see it has a very timeless and subtle design to it. There's no major graphics and what's here is very minimal. It has two main hooks here to hold down the bottle and because this is a right entry version, the right side is open so you can insert a bottle. <clears throat> you can also use this as a top entry uh, as a standard bottle cage would. You have the sort of recessed bottom half here to hide the two bolts. And overall, extremely lightweight. It really looks a lot heavier than it actually is. Now let's take a look at the actual performance of it. So here is a Elite Fly bottle and you can see you can push it in here and then rotate it. And this will flex in. And especially with the softer Elite bottles, it will also flex to accommodate this. You'll notice that off the actual bike, this is quite a bit harder. It takes quite a bit of force, and you can see it actually scratches up your bottle as well. That's one side, uh, one negative of having a side entry. However, you can also use it as a normal uh, standard entry bottle cage. The grip is really great. There's really no flex here, and uh, having ridden over some major bumps already with this thing, I found it'd be really great. It does scratch up your Elite bottle, which uh, as you can see here, this is about a week worth of riding with this bottle cage. Uh, you can see the scratches extend exactly where the bottle cage ends. Uh, that's one thing to watch out for, but the Elite bottles don't have the robustness of some other bottles due to the lightness. So now let's hit the road with the Elite bottle cage. As you can see here, I'll use it as a normal top entry as I have a larger frame. I found the grip to be really great. There's no play here and even using it as a side entry. Once the bottle cage is mounted onto your frame, it's very rigid and works quite well. So now let's do a little comparison with some other bottle cages on the market. On the left here, I have a eBay special carbon fiber bottle cage. I don't know if this is just plastic with carbon fiber uh, cover on it. However, this is pretty light. This is actually 22 grams on our scale, but it doesn't have as much uh, rigidity. As you can see with the single prong design, uh, you're more likely to lose bottles on this, and I actually have lost a bottle using this before. Here we have the Elite bottle cage. You have the two-prong design, far more rigid. You can see how flexible this one is versus this. And then finally on the right, you have the traditional aluminum bottle cage. And this is a standard design. Again, not side entry though. You have to just insert it normally. And there's nothing wrong with the design. You can actually flex it too to make it tighter or looser. But on the scales, this is about 62 grams, so double the weight. Now, whether that matters or not, I don't know, but you can actually see design-wise, the Elite really stands out. 
And as a side entry bottle cage, I think it's one of the most premium on the market. And Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Prism bottle cage. I really like the fact that it's so lightweight. Compared to a standard bottle cage, it's going to be a third of the weight. It also has amazing grip on the bottle water bottles themselves. You don't have to worry about losing a bottle over large potholes. And finally, it really satisfies those that are carbon fiber obsessed. Some of the negatives about this are obviously the premium price. I'd personally recommend the fiberglass version. Also, the color options are quite limited to only that little graphic on top, so you can't really match it to your frame. And finally, the side entry tends to scratch the bottles. Now let's give the Elite Bottle Cage a final rating. Out of 10, I would give it an 8.4. This is a premium side entry cage, especially if you have a smaller frame or a mound bike. It's a great way to get a carbon fiber bottle cage that can really accommodate you. Now the price is a little bit high, but if you're obsessed with carbon fiber, I don't think there's a better bottle cage on the market. Thanks for watching this review. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Visit our website at thesweetcyclist.com for more content and follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.